Hey everybody, welcome to day 24 of For the Better, 31 days of passionately pursuing the heart of God. And so we've been asking the question, or answering the question, why does God want to speak to us? What does he have to say? What are, what are the reasons in his heart, from his perspective, on why he wants to speak to us? And on day 24, it's all about helping others, man. You know, a lot of relationship with God is you and him. Absolutely. But when you come into a relationship with God, you recognize pretty quickly that God cares about other people. In fact, the only reason that you came into relationship with God is because he cared about you and he brought you in. You know, he at least he offered himself. See, that's the whole point of Jesus on the cross is that he offers himself to everybody. And as believers in God and as walking in this relationship with God, we become tight with him. We, we develop relationship with him and we hear from his heart all kinds of different things. And one of the things that we hear is his heart for other people. So a lot of times, God will speak to us about other people and what he wants to do in their lives or all kinds of different things. But the bottom line is one of the reasons that God speaks to you is actually for others to benefit others lives, you know? Because you gotta, I mean, you guys recognize, those of you who will probably end up watching this kind of video and taking this ch challenge, that this relationship with God stuff is real. It's genuine. God can speak one word into your life and it changes everything. It changes your life. It changes the way you see things. It changes the things that you're offended by. It changes the things that you're not offended by, the things you laugh at, the things you don't laugh at. It changes everything. Just one word. It can change the direction of your life and then it's and it's real because you 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 are impacted by the reality of who he is. Not just some dude off in the sky moving the chess pieces of your life. No, you come into an encounter with him and he speaks to you. And it's like awesome. And a lot of times he wants to use us. He wants to use you to do that for others. You know, particularly in the body of Christ where God, you know, he, he speaks something to me that he wants to share to you. And he speaks something to you that he wants to share to someone else. And then the whole body of Christ builds up that way because everyone's feeding on the word of the Lord, you know, and that is awesome. Let me tell you, I've experienced it a little bit. So the challenge today is to take the focus off of us and ask God, talk to God on behalf of others which is really what intercession is. That is the very heart of intercession. Who knows what God's gonna have you do or who he's gonna have you minister to. And, and, it, and honestly, it may not be today, but we're gonna pray that it is. <laughs> but the whole point is to have our hearts opened to the fact that, wait, you know, God's not just about me and me and him. He's about others. He's about drawing everyone into the most intimate place of relationship with him. And if he can use me to do that today or tomorrow or next week and the week after, then awesome. I want to be a part of that. Okay, so let's pray. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus and we declare, Lord, that we are open to be used by you to speak to others. Put it on our heart, Father, what you have to say to us that will benefit others so that others might come to know you as well and at least start the relationship with you or be bettered by continuing the relationship with you whatever it is that you have to say to us father we are open to that for the benefit of others in jesus name Amen. So be blessed today, guys. Go forward, developing that intimacy with God for yourselves, but allow it to overflow into other people's lives. If something doesn't happen today, that's fine. But man, be looking for it. Expect it. Ask God. Say, God, I want to share something with someone today that's going to bless their lives. And it doesn't have to be this like super awesome, prophetic, amazing thing, you know, just be open to whatever whatever God has to do whatever God wants to do through you to bless someone else okay 
So be blessed today, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.